Hi there. This is my bedside garden. I have a mini fountain with lights in, which produces a lovely trickling sound, which I love to listen to. Uh, I got that from Amazon. Uh, I, I got it as well because I missed touching water, not having any access to water for a long while, and so I can sit and put my fingers in it. It's so refreshing. I also have house plants. Here I have a money plant, an aloe, a Christmas cactus, an air plant, and a curly leaf spider plant. I also have a mother-in-law's tongue, or snake plant as it's known, um, and I have a peace lily in the next room along with a few others. A big problem with ME is that often the room has to be kept very dark because of light sensitivities, but my light tolerance levels have increased enough for me to have plants in my room. Adding potted plants to a room has been shown to reduce the amount of air particles which they absorb from the air, like pollen, bacteria, moulds, plus other contaminants like car exhaust. And at the same time, they'll take in carbon dioxide, which is then processed into oxygen for us. Hospital patients with plants in their rooms were more positive and had lower blood pressure and stress levels. Unlike with us, indoor plants have also been shown to help people to stay alert and reduce mental fatigue. Some plants are easier to keep than others, but uh, there are some that are difficult to kill, and I'll put a list of those in the video description below, um, and also a list which are also specially good for air quality. A quick tip though, overwatering kills houseplants more than them drying out. Some plants actually prefer to dry up completely before they're watered again, and something like a peace lily will tell you when it's ready for water because it'll droop. It's good for us to have nature around us and nature sounds. They're no cure, but they're still good for us anyway. Running water has been proven to be soothing on the brain and nervous system. They lower blood pressure and improve immunity, and they're nice to have, and it's all about trying to improve our quality of life, isn't it? Well, thank you for watching. Bye.